All right. Hey. This has been an event getting this going this evening. Yeah, I think we, I think we spent thirty minutes getting ready tonight. Probably. Um, yeah. As you guys can see, we have a uh, an additional person. We'll get to him in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Sorry. back to the TNT Pod, which is our kind of semi official name for the moment. Um, it's what's on all the channels and stuff. Mm -hmm. We are the podcast with a short fuse and an even shorter attention span. Mm -hmm. And you would be short fuse, short attention span. (laughs) So get this guys. I'm actually drinking coffee on uh, this episode. Mm -hmm. Um, in in, in, in my camera lens mug. I don't know what Jaden's saying. Just to be honest with you. That, um, my mom got you, right? I believe so. It was Christmas. Yes, yeah. Oh, it's not bad. Okay. Yeah, look, look, Ma. I have my blood, Thanks, blood pressure doesn't go through the roof because they're like the 18 cups of coffee and half of it. You know what's bad? They're about 12 ounces each. This is getting really random. Okay. <laughs> I have a Listen, I'm doing well for myself. We, we have 29 minutes, so let's no. let's not waste it. Mm-hmm. Um, so this week is a special week. We have our friend Jaden Unik on the podcast. Um, this I is. I just wanted to point out it's Unik. It is you, me. So you, me. Ugh. I have been pronouncing it the same way for 17 years now, 16, 17 years. When did we meet? I was a junior or sophomore in high school. Yeah, it was. Wandering, wandering, <laughs> we'll come back to that because you know, that's a little bit of what we want to get into. In a galaxy far, far, far away. <laughs> Lost, scared and alone, and there was Taylor, my knight in shining so Jaden is, uh, he's unique, that's for sure. Right. Um, so this is a music episode of our podcast. Jaden is, mu- uh, is a musician, um, and he's going to play a song for us a little bit later in the podcast to kind of close it out. Um, but Jaden is, um, he's kind of getting a, not really a start, but he's getting a start as far as like playing out places. Um, he actually has a uh, show coming up. Um, it's going to be your first official performance, right? Yeah. Um, and we'll we'll talk about that a little bit more and um, get into that. But it's March fourth. Uh, tell your friends. <laughs> I say we're going to get into it a little bit later. Jaden's like, let's I'm get into it away. now. Mm-hmm. So Jaden's a musician. We've talked about that now. Um, <laughs> let's let Jaden. Yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get Jayden, into music? Tell, tell us about your influences. Well, I'm. I'm originally from Southern California. Use your mic, bro. Use yeah. your mic. And, uh, hello. And where, where are you from? <laughs> this mic situation has just been driving me crazy all night. And see, Jaden fits in perfectly with the podcast because he might be the only person with worse ADHD than me. Mm. I have all the letters. <laughs> <laughs> How many he of them? 80. <laughs> Throw o- OCD in that bad boy. <laughs> The doctor Diabetes. called and said that I have ADHDs. I don't know what that is, but I have ADHD. Okay, fellas. Okay, Randy. All right. <laughs> Maximum focus. <laughs> All, All right. right. So, Jaden, you're from California? California, right. and my mom and dad were just always big into music. Um, they, you know, they grew up in Orange Microsoft. County. <laughs> Los Angeles, L.A., Los Angeles. Um, and, you know, they kind of grew up around that whole music scene on Sunset Boulevard and stuff in the 80s. And so growing up, they just, my parents played music all the time. And I just heard those songs and I was like, man, like, I just like fell in love with the whole concept, like just, just the song. And it kind of made me like want to start playing an instrument. And my mom, uh, she, she started you know, putting me in guitar lessons, and we we did that for a little while, and then I kind of just didn't want to do it anymore, and then I stopped playing guitar for a long time, and when I was 12, we moved here to Virginia, and I went to Covenant Christian Academy in sixth and th- 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 in seventh <laughs> grade, and when I went to Fort Chisel, I met a guy named Josh Cook. Shout out to you, Josh. Um... <laughs> He uh, he had brought his guitar to school all the time, and he would plug it in and play it. And I remember hearing it, and I was like, man, I'd love to just pick pick the guitar back up. And he got me into it. My dad ended up buying me a Les Paul for boy, probably like my 16th birthday. 
and I started just getting really into playing like metal and rock and stuff like that. And I played electric probably till like two years after I graduated high school, 2015. And I started playing like acoustic a lot because I found like I hung out with a lot of people that were like constantly playing acoustic. You know what I mean? And I kind of fell in love with that sound. And you you can name drop those people too if you want. Oh, so, <laughs> Libby, Avery, Danny, uh, Storm. Were they in a band or something? They're in the back. All <sighs> all left together or something like that. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> so <laughs> all left together. That's good. We, we talked about this our, our last episode. You know how me and Tiffany met through uh, through my band All Came as One, and we're not going to talk about that every episode. But this right. does go with it because Jaden, you went with us for yep. a long yeah, time. Yeah, and I, you know, I was around it a lot, and I, I remember just hearing Danny and Avery play acoustic, and I was like, I want to start getting into that. So I just started learning songs on acoustic. And I kind of just started singing to myself at the house. And, you know, it was really rough. <laughs> and it, it probably still is. And people can tell me, that's okay. Um, Bro, you seriously, and no, no I, joke, I've you over, have seriously progressed so much, especially yeah. in the last year or so. You have, your voice has really come. Because you always had, like, you always had a voice, but you were always, like, goofing off and trying to sound like somebody. And in, like, the past couple of years man you really have like you've you've gotten a little bit more serious about it and you know i i feel like a you know I'm, i feel like i'm your big brother in a lot of ways because we've known oh, each other yeah. so long we, we've known each other so long that and a lot of people don't know this but you and i had our own band for a whole 12 <laughs> hours um you came up with a picture of it and it, like it this alternative is, so I, I don't know so to to explain What's how me called? and Jaden met Jaden and I met at, at high school, and I'll never forget. I was probably junior or sophomore. I thought I was hot stuff. Everybody knew me. Tater, you know. Honey, you are hot stuff. Oh, thanks me? So Ow. But <laughs> there, there's this one day, and I think I was waiting to get picked up or something, and I hear from behind me, hey, Tater, wait up, Tater. And I'm like, who is that? And I turn around, and it's this little, and I mean this with all the what? love in my heart, oh. this little dorky. <laughs> kid with glasses, chubby <laughs> cheeks, and uh, had frosted tips. And oh, I was like, that's "Hello, right. I'm Kick Me." I was like, <laughs> I, "I will find a photo and I will put it up right here." But <laughs> I was like, "Who is this kid?" And he was like, "He came up and acted like he was my best yeah. friend." He was like, "Dude, we should ho totally hang out and play music." And oh, I'm into like metallic and this, that, and other. And I'm a gigantic metalhead. So me and Jaden we bonded over the love of, of metal just instantly. And he, even at that point, you were so more advanced on electric guitar than I mm -hmm. am to this day. I'm Jayden better than Tater at he, guitar. just wanted to <laughs> add to that. He's joking, but I'm, I'm dead serious. He can pick up a guitar and play things faster and, and really more technical <laughs> than I can. And I'm like, do you even know anything that you just put? Nah, man, I just, I learned it from a video like 12 years ago. I'm like, I, I hate you because I work hard and I can't play like that. My hands don't move that fast, but we had a band for like what? 12 hours. We didn't, we never even actually played anything together. You made a photo and then that was it. But our friendship was solidified in that moment. I remember right. we, you know, and I was telling me and Tiffany was talking about this earlier. Mine and your friendship revolves so much around music. Like, We've played music together over the years. We've went to concerts together, all the way going all the way back to like. And if any people actually watching this know who these bands are, that would be hilarious. But this fires embrace uh, that we went up and seen in Bluefield at Invasion. What is it? Invasion Fest or whatever. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. What? I was really focused. On I'm my sitting here being now. genuine, and you do, go crazy. At least the last thirty seconds. I, I don't you. know what you were talking about. Well, right now I'm Rewind. talking. I want to hear what you were talking about. It's just like start from the beginning. I'm not talking from the beginning because we're already nine minutes in, so we got to keep going. Anyway, so you and you and I, our friendship revolves has always revolved to some degree around music. I mean, mm -hmm. that's not the only part of our friendship, but that's been a big part of our friendship. And these earphones are getting on my nerves. Um, but that's been a big part of our friendship over the last you know twelve, thirteen, fourteen years, whatever it's right. been. And even to the point where we've played music together, we've listened to music together, we went to concerts together, going all the way back to 
when we went to Invasion up in Bluefield and we saw this Fires Embrace and we saw Brian Head Welch. Um, Fires Embrace? Yeah. Are you sure? Bro, yes. Remember? Because they he the, the lead singer. <laughs> you know my mom thought that was coming the first time we were this there. This Fires Embrace? No, Brian was. Oh. She thought, she, dude, she thought it was corn. Jaden. I just, <laughs> sh- we were talking about it not too long ago, probably like four or five months ago. Yeah. And she was like, do you remember when we saw corn in Bluefield? <laughs> By the way, I love you, Mom. I'm not making fun of you. <laughs> no, not at all. We love you dearly. We love yes. you. But, no, that, that's You're just, the best. that's always awesome to me. And it, it was, it's so funny to me, and I'm, I'm going to let you talk, because I want to hear more from your side, especially on this, and Tiffany, you can interject after this, but your progression from, from the metal head that I knew from like Southern California to over the years, and I've picked on you about it, but it, it, you, you've lived here long enough that it's become such a, a big part of your life, but you started oh, out yeah. as this little like metal head and you've slowly grown into like you're a fun young man. <laughs> you, you play like folk and country now, which mm-hmm. kills me. You're wearing a Metallica shirt, a Vans hat, all black. You look He's gone country. <laughs> you look like you play rhythm guitar in in yeah. like a post hardcore band. That's that's what I get from you. But you played Tyler Childers and other guys that I'm not even gonna pretend like I know. I know I know Tyler Childers. I like Tyler Childers. But you know, and I used to give you a little bit of gripe, uh, gripe about it because. There for a while, you you went from this little California kid that I knew to where you were dressing in. Oh my goodness, yes. Clothes that I can't even pronounce. Mama's oh my goodness. Don't let your babies grow <laughs> up to be cowboys. And I, I can I, remember, like head to toe, he was like, "What, what is it? What is it? Ariot? Ariot? Yeah, I mean, he oh, had. Cinch. I didn't is that wear no Ariots, bro. I was wearing cinch. Oh with yeah, the, okay. With the tin yeah. holes, like, yeah. with the tin I holes. I had, had a, to toe. I, mean, I had a cowhide was... belt. Yes. Yeah. Cowhide. I gave him so much Button-up crap shirts. because I, I know him from being a metalhead and a rocker. <laughs> We've had in-depth conversations about Ozzy you know Osbourne bad, and Metallica. Dude? I've never even done anything like remotely cowboyish. No. Nuts. No, dude. I thought I was. was dude, I thought I was clothes. Jesse James. For like, that's, that's why I gave you so much gripe because I was like, "Who is this kid that I used to hang out mm-hmm. with?" And um, but you know th- that's been probably six, seven years ago, yeah. and and now it's like you, you've you kind of embrace both sides. You embrace being here, like living in Virginia now, and and that being because I mean you've been here since you said twelve years old, right? Yeah. So I mean it, it's you've you've lived here most of your life at this point, so it is a big part of your life, and like. I don't know. The older I get, the more I can kind of, especially with Tyler Childers. And there's a couple of songs that you play that I'm like, okay, I like those. I like that folky country sound. I've mm-hmm. never been like you're not gonna hear, hear have me listening to George Strait, and I'm not talking about. I know everybody loves George Strait. He's I the king. I couldn't name you a single George Strait song. What you say song. about George Strait, boy? Nothing. King. I'm not saying anything bad. Over your fat but I'm words. a metalhead <laughs> through and through. I Those am a metalhead. words. <laughs> anyway, those are so, farting words. Keep watching your mouth. Now, now that we've, now that we've got kind of there, um, I'm gonna let one of you two kind of talk. Why, why don't you tell us how you kind of? Well, I, I want to know a little uh, about you guys. You but know what I mean? Like I've, I've yeah, talked to you, so like tip me, like tell me what, tell me what you want to talk about. You know what I mean? Just like let it out, bro. You know what I mean? And then I'll go last, and I'm gonna Has play, I'm gonna outside. play y'all melody. I'm gonna play y'all really, melody. I'm, I'm excited. You're gonna really this. enjoy it. <laughs> Well, how a about lot. this? Why don't we talk about this? How about um, recently you put out a little music video? Let's talk about that. Where did you right. Where did you record that? Who did you record that with, and all that? So we were in this room. <laughs> this very room. He, who, he was in my seat. Who would have thunk? You know <laughs> that to be to be honest, your your video playing that that kind of kick started the podcast because yeah. we got like this little. It, this is a tiny room. Like we were mm-hmm. having to maneuver in ways that should not happen for a big man like myself to get this all set up. Mm -hmm. But Jaden comes over and he's like, dude, let's just, can you record me play and record a video? Um, and we did. And like the next week, I think we ended up starting the podcast and I was like, Jaden's got a show coming up. I was like, I think he should be our first musical guest. Uh, And yeah, you know, I brought that up to you. It's a pretty good choice. (laughs) Well, you know, you know I would have done the I would have done the same thing. Greta Van Fleet wasn't available this week. <laughs> Who even likes those guys? 
<laughs> we had this conversation. Listen, I like Greta Listen, Van Fleet. We could we could talk about Greta Van Fleet for about let's, two let's, straight let's minutes. Let's not get right sidetracked. Now. We're at fifteen minutes in. We got fifteen more minutes. So, what do you want? What, what do you want to talk about? You or uh, what? You some, somebody besides me? Because I have been talking the entire I time. Just, and I'd like to wet my whistle. Sometimes, like I wonder, like I wonder how I even got into playing the type of music that I do like playing, and like. I truly enjoy it, you know what I mean? That's, like, music. Like, back in the day, I'd, like, goof around and, like, try to, you know, sing rock and stuff like that, which I still enjoy, like, to this day if I'm, like, jamming with people or something like that. But I kind of just, I heard Tyler Childers for the first time. My brother, before he, it was 2020 before the world shut down. <laughs> and <Right. laughs> We survived. Come back yes. in 30 business days. That 30 business day, it's like, I'm pretty sure it's like still going on. I'm convinced. I, it Don't is. trust the government, kids. <laughs> oh, gosh. This Don't is not a political them. podcast. Please uh, disregard anything he says. Um, <laughs> we're just, we're not going to go into our opinions on that so, at all. <laughs> so your brother. <laughs> so your brother. Yeah, but my brother, Tyler before Childers. he left, he, he left for basic that year. He did. Yeah. yeah and mm-hmm. before he left, we had this like going away cookout thing for him with food. <laughs> As you would have for the cookout. I would be concerned. <laughs> if you did not have food at a right. cookout, is it a cookout? <laughs> I'm not even planning out my words right now. I'm just saying whatever, just, you know. No. It's fine. But he, they were playing Tyler Childers, and it was the first time I heard Feathered Indians. And I was like, man, that sounds cool. Like, that guy's voice, like, the way he sings, like the way he's play, like the way he plays guitar, just like the way it sounds all together, dude. I was like, man, that's like such a beautiful sound. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I started like learning his songs and singing it, but like I was trying to sing it and sound like him. Yeah. And I was <laughs> like, oh, well, I did that for a long time. Like when I played songs, I felt like I had to sound like the person who wrote that song, and like people always told me like. Like, you need to find your voice. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I started learning these Tyler Childers songs, and, you know, Libby and Avery used to always tell me, they were like, when you sing, like, sing like it's coming from, like, the pit of your stomach. You know what I mean? And just, like, letting it all out. And when I did that, I found that I had, like, that sound that, like, I felt like it fits that style of music. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just kind of started just learning a lot of his stuff and eventually you know like zach bryan and stuff whenever he started kind of making his come up i guess yeah is that the way to like word that <laughs> yeah no, no, <laughs> no I, I totally get that because uh, again but like, i always like but old crow medicine show too like that was the first type of music like that that wagon i started wheel. learning on the guitar wagon. that's the only song that i know by them but wagon wheel man hmm. are you getting a phone call on my podcast <laughs> Bailey, if you're watching this, I, I'm not picking up. I can wait for good reason, but no, like I, I totally get it with Tyler Childers because that that's not my style of music, really. Like you've been with me mm-hmm. for almost seven years. Would you ever imagine me listening to Tyler Childers? No, not. And once. then one day I come to you and you, I'm only, like, you listen to it when Jaden comes over. No, that's not because true. Because remember I oh. sent you that. What is okay. that? Um, is that how you get hyped up? Oh, the Lady uh, May uh, and that. Um, what's that like? He he did like Lady May and all the uh, and like Feathered Indians and all that, and then he did like this Lady really May. like happier pop song. I can't figure out Lady May to save my life. Does he do that? Um, I can't remember it, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he does that one. But okay, so and, we we've and got that, a few more minutes here before because you know, that way we can save room for the for the song. Um, why don't you talk a little bit? Do you have anything to to ask him or talk about? Um. I hope everything that I've said this whole time has made sense because I'm kind of just going with it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Well, to, to be to be I'm, honest, um, I, I talk. You know, I've I've taken a few critiques about our last episode, mm-hmm. um, and one of them uh, was from a buddy, and he, he didn't mean anything bad. He was like, he's just like, just structure your your podcast, and I'm like, and, and he he didn't mean like write down the whole thing. He just like gave me like a couple of things. And I didn't write anything down. Sorry, Cody. Um, I'm terrible about that. I did take it, and I've tried to apply that and tried to kind of give some points and some background about where you're from and how we met and what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, no, I think you've, you've done pretty good. This is kind of a free flow podcast anyway. So um, before we talk about your show and then move on to the song, um, 
anything you want to say or bring up or talk about? I mean, you've known Jaden for what, probably about a decade too. I think so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> basically, yeah. <laughs> um, I guess just, um, do you want to just stay in the community and play around in the community or do you have, you trying to go I, big? Bro? I keep telling people I want to go as far as it'll take me. Like, right. I just, my thing is I'd like, I want to be able to look back like 20, 30 years from now to make it. But, um, <laughs> And just be like, man, I'm glad I at least tried, you yeah, know? Right. Like, I kind of put myself out there and stuff, and I stopped getting, I had to, like, talk myself out of getting nervous to play in front of people. Yeah. And, like, it took, like, going places and just playing around people sitting around. Yeah. To kind of build up that courage, I guess. Yeah. Because I've, I've always, I've always kind of struggled with social anxiety. Oh, I, like, I get it. Yeah. In certain, you know, times in my life more than others, but. Especially, yeah. especially doing it by yourself, because mm-hmm. you know I've I've played either with a worship band or, or with you know a KO for since I was seventeen years old. But still, you know, even in my solo stuff, that's one of the reasons why I do my solo stuff as as a studio work instead of trying to go out and play. I, I did a little, you know, I went to a couple open mic nights and and played a song, but nobody really wants to hear the guy by himself not singing playing an electric guitar with no backing tracks or anything and I tried to do a backing track like once and it it failed and I'm not saying I would never do it again because after I put out my EP like that's something that I would like to do is maybe go play a song here or there I'm not gonna do three hour sets like you are but but no I, anyway ring back I, I get that because you know you, you don't have that blanket of having people up there with you you're by yourself right. and it, it's totally yeah. reliant on your playing ability your singing ability and your stage presence to keep people entertained for yeah. numerous hours like that's like it's that, scary the first time which wasn't too long ago i well the first time i played on a stage like i kept telling myself like just Whatever you do, Jaden, please don't embarrass me. <laughs> Jaden, please don't embarrass me. And now, is that the is that the open mic night that I came to? Yeah, that's the one. So Bailey and Destiny, like my friends, my friends, Name drop. and they talked me into doing the open mic thing. And I'm, at first, I was like, oh, I don't know, dude. Like, mm. uh, like my stomach dropped at the thought of it at first. Bro, you right. you killed it. You did so good. And I, I was because, I, like I said, I've been to a few open mics, and usually it's it, it's not as it's not been as structured as that one. Usually it's like you do a song and then somebody else does a song. It's it's not always. I, th- I think maybe they would have gave you the option, but I, I know me and probably a few other people they'd get up there and do one song, hop off stage, let somebody else. But you did like I think you did four songs back to back, right? Oh, yeah, <laughs> so, dude, this whole time it's been like right here. Yeah, we don't expect perfection, PJ. That's fine. You are who you are. Anyway, um, so we got we got about two more minutes before we you know put your song in here and and, and go off that. Um, why don't we spend the rest of that time talking about your show coming up? Uh, give us some information. Mm-hmm. Tell us how you got the the possibility to do that because it's at the same place that yeah you did the open mic. So talk about that. Talk about uh, the date and the time so people can know because so, this will be out before that and people will have time to come support you. So March 4th at Seven Sisters Brewery in Whitfield, Virginia, not Whiteville, <laughs> Whitfield, Virginia, uh, March 4th, it will probably be sometime after 3 o'clock, well, oh boy, 4 o'clock, because they open at 4, so it makes sense, it would. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll let people know a little bit uh, a little bit more detailed. I would say probably since it's a brewery, you're probably going to be playing closer to that six thirty or seven mm-hmm. o'clock mark. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's probably safe. Yeah. Um, how long are you playing? I think you said it was like a three hour set. Three hours, yeah. Three hours. Wow. So, but, I, but the way that's... I saw it is like at first I was like, ooh, that's a lot of songs. Yeah, that's you know a lot of I mean? songs. Because it's like, like. I've always felt like I learned songs relatively quickly as the, at least the singing part. Yeah. But I was like, man, like, that's a lot. Like, I sat back and I was like... So how many songs in total are you doing? Ooh. Are you planning to do? I'm wanting to bring... I mean, this is my... I'm kind of just winging it. And I'm, <laughs> I'm going to try to bring about 16 or 17 right. songs. Wow. That That's and, probably pretty decent because I imagine you're probably going to take two or three breaks at least. Yeah. 
I what? have a very small bladder. <laughs> that is very true. Small bladder. Um, <clears throat> so we're kind of running out of time here, but um, it's bathroom often. <laughs> <laughs> Jaden, <clears throat> thank you for being our first guest yes. on the podcast. Um, thank you for kicking off our music section. This is the first mm-hmm. time that we've done music by. Well, this is the first time we've done an actual topic on the show, and uh, it's fitting that it's music. It's fitting that you, you know, my little brother basically are on here, and we get to support you and and promote you out here. I can't promise that a lot of people will see it, but anybody that will see it, um, you know, I, it, I, I know not everybody likes going out to breweries and that's not your kind of thing. And I, I get that, but they have Pepsi products there. Though, they do. They so do. Um, and just it's, come out. And it's nothing crazy. We, we've yeah, been there. We, we go there to see music and other things. Um, we're not yes. drinkers really, but we, yeah. you know, especially if, if I got a friend going out, this is second yes. or third time I've had a friend out there, but Grab yeah, a if, cold Pepsi if you're and... okay with going to something like this to support a friend, please come out, you know, support yeah. local music. If anybody knows me, that's always been a big thing with me. That's how I got my start in music is, is local music. I can name off a list of local bands that have, you know, influenced me and supported me over the years. So, and Jaden has something left to say <laughs> quickly. All right. I'll go as y'all I forgot what I was going to say. That sounds about right. Carry on. Okay. March 4th, <laughs> somewhere around 6.30 mm-hmm. or 7. Uh, seven Sisters, Whitfield, Virginia. Go support Jaden Unique. <laughs> All right, we're going to kick off this song Laura. here in just a minute. Daddy work like mule mine in Pike County coal. Messed up his back, couldn't work anymore. He said, one of these days you'll get out of these hills. Keep your nose on the grindstone and out the pill. See, the ways of this world just bring you to tears. Keep the Lord in your heart and you'll have nothing to fear. Live the best that you can. Don't lie, don't steal. Keep your nose on the grindstone and out the Well, Daddy, you've been trying to just can't catch a break. There's too much in this world that just can't seem to change. But I remember your words, Lord, it brings me to chill. Keep your nose on the grindstone and out. Keep in mind that a man's just as good as his word. It takes twice as long to build bridges you burn. There's hurt you can cause, time alone cannot heal. Keep your nose on the grindstone and out the That you've been trying to just can't catch a break. Too much in this world, it just can't seem to shake. I remember your words, Lord, it brings me to chill. Keep your nose on the grindstone and out the pill. That sound good? Woo! Is it good? Yeah.